Right. Hello. Hello, Facebookers. Hello. How are you today? Yes, how it's are you? Fabulous Fly Friday. Friday. I missed the F. <laughs> fabulous Friday. Look, Friday. Fabulous Fly Fruitful Friday. Yes, all those Fs. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So we're going to go ahead on and get started. We hope that you guys have had a fantastic week mm -hmm. and that today is the day that you tune in to Let's Talk For Real, for real. with Shay and Trill. Trill. It's Friday. You know the deal. It's Friday. Can we talk for real? It's Friday. So, let's talk. Let's talk for real. Let's talk with Shay and Trill. Let's talk. Let's talk for real. Let's talk. Let's talk for real. Hey, Hi. everybody. How y'all doing? Hey, glad Rhonda. you joined us. Hey, Rhonda. Everybody that's tuning in, so glad that you have joined us today for yes. It's Friday. Let's talk for, for real, real, baby. With Shay and Trill. Real. No, you're not Trill. You're <laughs> Trill. Yes. I'm, I'm having an identity crisis. It's okay. It's okay. We are twins, so we are yes. one and the same. Mm -hmm. We're one and the same. So, um, Trill, you want to start us off with our topic today? Yes. Or you want me to do it? Well, to... our topic today is, are you here or are you present? Yes. So, you can start with that. And are you here or are you present? It's roll call time. Who's roll here? Call. Are you here? Are you or are you present? Yes. Which Shout one are it you? out with a hoot, mm -hmm. a holler, mm -hmm. or a how did do? Yes. All right. So present, being in attendance. Did you want me to hear first? Since here was first. Sure. Let's okay. do it here first. Here. Okay. Here is in this place, mm -hmm. in this spot, mm -hmm. or a locality. Mm -hmm. It is used to call attention to some person or a thing's presence, or it's what the speaker has to offer, bring, or discover. Mm -hmm. So, it's also here at this present moment, yes. without delay, mm -hmm. immediately. Mm -hmm. Here. Mm -hmm. So you want to talk about here? Yes. Well, we were looking at it from, you remember when we was in grade school, or some of us, you know, attendance may be different now, right. but back in the day, your teacher used to call the roll, mm -hmm. and she would call you by your name. Uh, some teachers did your last name first, first name, it didn't matter. But you had to answer the roll call in a certain manner. Some of us said, um, here, some of us would say present. Yes. So, we're going to go from there. All right. So, um, <laughs> can we just go a little, let's keep on talking about here for mm -hmm. a minute. So, are you here? Mm-hmm. Are you here on this Facebook Live? Yes. Are you here on this Facebook Live? Mm-hmm. Hey, camera two. Hey, camera one. <laughs> so, um, uh. When I look up, when I hear you say, um, in the present, mm -hmm. now, now, right now, that means that I am in the moment, mm -hmm. right, Trill? I am here, right here, right now, mm -hmm. in the moment with you. Mm -hmm. At that, 534, I'm right, here. Right, mm -hmm. that's right. That means that I can't be anywhere else. But here. But here. Mm -hmm. But how many times... In our lives, we are supposed to be here in the moment, but we don't show up. Right. We're absent. We're absent. Or we're tardy. Yes. So we'll talk about that too in yes. just a minute. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about present. You and this voice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll switch up uh -huh. on in a minute. Being in attendance. Mm -hmm. Being in one place and not elsewhere. Mm. Now existing. To come forward. Mm -hmm. Pointing out or relating to time that is not past or future. Mm -hmm. Present. Present. Now going on. Mm. So are you present? Or are you here? 
How many of us have really just got up and we're just in a place and we're just present? We're there physically, but we're not there mentally. Mm -hmm. We may be there emotionally, but we're just not there. I, like like the songwriter said, her, my mind is over here. No, but my, no my mind, mind is here. Yeah, with, yeah, yeah, but my mind Nine is on the other side yeah. of town. How mm -hmm. many of us that get on this broadcast, we get on this broadcast, cast faithfully because we want to be here right. you send your smiles you send your likes you send your hearts but then when you get off you're not present with what has been said or what has been spoken into your spirit we just go on just to have a check off same thing with service at church we go to every Sunday school. We go to every Bible study. We go to every service, but we just there right. checking ourselves off the roll, but we're not present. Right. Yeah. You're right. Mm -hmm. You said we're checking ourselves off the roll, mm -hmm. but we're not present. We're not present. That means that we don't have any investment right. into where we are right now. Mm -hmm. And how many times do we show up for work? We're just present. Present. We're just trying to get through the day. Yes. We're, we have a model that says we do our eight and hit the gate. How many of us? And we don't even do eight. Some of us. Go ahead. Some of us don't do eight, Trill? No. Okay. We don't do eight. <laughs> so. <laughs> we get paid for eight, but we ain't doing eight. And how many of you are in any type of relationship mm -hmm. where... You are just there. Mm -hmm. You're not even present. No. I remember talking to a young lady not too long ago, and she was saying, Shay, there are a lot of people that are married, and she said that people, they are there, but they're not mm -hmm. all the way there. They're not really mm -hmm. involved in their marriage, you know, even if it's you and a significant mm -hmm. other. I see so many people posting on Facebook about relationship woes. Mm -hmm. And this is my thing. And y'all don't shoot me today, okay? <laughs> but what's in a man is going to come out, mm -hmm. right? And if an individual is not showing you that they are there for you emotionally, mm -hmm. that they're not there for you physically, why do we remain in that relationship? Why do we remain there? Mm -hmm. We remain there because what is the right thing to do? Mm -hmm. Do we stay there because we're too concerned about what people are going to say? Mm -hmm. Do we stay there because we're concerned about how it's going to look after you said mm -hmm. that your relationship was A, B, C, and D, mm -hmm. and then in reality, it's not what you're saying that it mm -hmm. is? Because what I'm finding when I keep reading these posts on Facebook is that People need reality, but they want fantasy. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all out there, don't shoot me today. Mm -hmm. Y'all want fantasy relationships, but what you really need is a reality check because what's in a man is going to come out, mm -hmm. and their behavior is who they are, period, mm -hmm. point blank, period. Mm -hmm. And like you said, going back to marriage, how many of us are getting up every day answering the call? Saying, I'm here. I'm here to pay the bills. I'm here to take care of the children. I'm here to go, go to work and get the check. I'm here. But you're not present. You're not present with one another. Right. And um, I remember this young man was telling this, like, this young lady. Um, uh, she was saying, I don't understand. I do everything. I cook. I, I, I like staying home. I don't cost a lot of money. Why he don't want to spend time with me? And his response was, you need to get out of hibernation and get into uh, a civilization. Basically, he said, you need to start living. And a lot of us need to be present in our moment and not just functioning. You know, you got some people, like I had said one time before, where you have a conversation with them and you see that they're not there. Mm-hmm. And they can say mm-hmm to a spot that don't even require mm-hmm. Uh -huh. right. They just saying that to make you think that they are they're listening, they are listening right. but they're not there. They done tuned out two sentences ago. Right. So you gotta understand are you present? in your situation or are you just there are you just taking up space are you just there to say okay I, I i'm in a relationship and i'm coming home i'm doing this i'm doing that you checking off a list but you're not participating in your own life exactly and you know it is something i don't know if any of you out in the audience have been in relationships where or with a significant other you may be married and you have your spouse and you know 
it's like they they be trying to get you to come home but then when when you get home there's no conversation there's no <laughs> communication it's like well i'm thinking you want me to come home so that there can be some dialogue, mm -hmm. not monologue, mm. right? And so when we're in relationship with each other, regardless of where it is, whether it's in the church, whether it's at your job, whether it's with family, whether it's with your significant other or your spouse, mm. there is a level of communication that lets me know that you are here with me right now, your mind, your body, and your spirit. But you know what we've gotten into? We've gotten into having communication with no relation. We're yes, the, te the text. Absolutely. We're the text, text each other. Yeah. We're going to sit up there and instant message each other. We'll FaceTime each other. But when you get into each other's presence, you ain't got nothing to say. No. Because we have come accustomed and the way society is built now is that we're losing communication. When you go out to a restaurant, look at people sitting around that's out with their family. Everybody is on, on the a, phone. They're on an electronic yeah, device. Yeah, they're on an electronic device. Time. Or they're in a restaurant where they can sit up there and look at the TV, look at the sports, and look at all that, but you're not having any interaction with e each other. No communication. No communication. No conversation. I remember traveling. <laughs> on the highway and I just started to take note of people who had more than one individual in the car mm -hmm. to see how much conversation they were having mm. and it was unbelievable to drive beside people or not far from people realizing that there was no communication None. and I'm talking miles <laughs> I'm talking miles, y'all. I'm mm -hmm. talking miles, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, there was no communication, no interaction. And my thing is, is that what would happen mm. if your voice was taken when you Ooh. and you couldn't speak? Mm. Knowing that you have a voice and you can speak, mm -hmm. how valuable would your voice be to you then? Mm. How valuable would it be for you to hear your spouse or your mate or your significant other or your child say, Mom, mm -hmm. Dad, I love you. Good night. Good morning. Mm -hmm. It is amazing to me how difficult it is for some people to live in the same dwelling, mm -hmm. get up every morning, and mm -hmm. one say, I'm not a morning person. So it's going to kill you to say just good morning. Good morning. Everybody deserve a good morning good and a morning. good bye. Are you walk into your job and you happy go lucky. Good morning, everybody. Mm -hmm. What's good about it? Yes. Them Debbie Downers. Those doubtful Thomases, yes. Oh, my word. Yes, them negative people. But the thing is, they, they're they like that because they're just here. here. They're not present. So they don't get to enjoy the fact that they get breath to have another day, that they have the, the full function of their bodies, that they have the capacity to hear and see and feel and touch. They don't really, they have gotten so accustomed to it that they start neglecting it. They don't appreciate it. Exactly. And so when you're talking about being being present, you know, um, that P-R-E-S-E-N-T, it can be a present mm -hmm. or it can be present. Mm -hmm. Right? And so for me, God is presenting us another yes. opportunity to worship him, to glorify him. That is mm -hmm. why it is called the present mm -hmm. because it is a gift to us. Yes. It is a gift to us. And a lot of us treat the gift that he has given us, the breath in our body. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that we live, we breathe, we move, we have our very being. And a lot of us take that for granted. But do you know there are a lot of people who wish that they mm -hmm. could speak without an apparatus in their um, mm -hmm. larynx, that they wish that they could hear their regular voice, mm -hmm. the voice that God has gifted them with, and because of whatever the circumstance or situation, now they have a voice box and they mm -hmm. can't speak without using that apparatus. Mm -hmm. And see, this is a good segue until, uh, un unto the rest of when the role is called. The, the other responses that the teacher can get is, absent right because you're not there or you're tardy mm, yeah and how many of us where god has called us mm. and we say here i am lord use me but then when it comes time for him to use you you're absent 
Or tardy. Or tardy. Slow and moving. Yes. Listen to what tardy says. Slow and moving, <laughs> acting or happening. So you slow and mm -hmm. you're acting. You slow and happening. Done or happening late. Arriving or doing something late. Mm -hmm. Moving slowly. Sluggish, not on time. Mm -hmm. A lot of us, and you know, it's, it's interesting because I look at people who treat their job like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to myself, my God, if you, now, don't shoot us, okay? <laughs> Because I don't care what you do. There are some people in leadership in churches. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you do, what you say. They're going to show up late every uh. single time. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. One lady told me when she was facilitating a training that I was uh, partaking of, she told me, she said, believe it or not, an individual who show up late all the time, that's a form of arrogance. Mm. I said, Wow. She said it is. She said because that means that you're saying I don't have to adhere to any time restraints. Mm. I don't have to adjust my schedule because of the schedule that you set because it's all about me. So wow. when I get there, I get there. I don't have to be on your timetable or your time schedule. Mm. Another um, definition about with absent was n to not be attentive to be preoccupied and absent-minded. It also said um, to be behind on time and not on time. So how many of us are really absent-minded mm -hmm. that our mind is not even functioning to what it is that we have to do and then we can't understand why there's so much chaos in our schedules. Why are we so forgetful about the things that we're supposed to do? Because we're so busy doing everything but Every, what we're supposed to be doing. Everything but what we're supposed to be mm -hmm. doing. Easily distracted. Easily distracted. Preoccupied. Oh, I'm I supposed to be at the church at 7 o'clock. Mm. But somebody called and, and I had to pray for them. Mm. Uh, you know. I <laughs> wow. Are you absent or are you present? <laughs> Y'all don't shoot us today. Or are you tardy? Or are you absent? Yeah, there are some people who just don't take anything seriously. Mm -mm. You know. Um, don't take their call seriously? No. How many of us have showed up late for our call? My bishop used to say, even if you one minute late, you're, you're late. late. Right. You're late. And then so, so, so then you get mad when your sister... Mm goes in and do what you were called to do. Now you want to talk about her. Oh, why she's always the one getting picked. Why she always the one that got to preach. Why she's always the one that people go to because she's present. Exactly. She's exercising discipline. She or he. Y'all know we talking about both when we talk. He's <laughs> exercising order in mm -hmm. their life. Yes, because people's time is precious. Yes, it is precious. Mm -hmm. That's why Trill and I, as much as we can, we try to start at 530 mm -hmm. every Friday. Because we got to be mindful that you guys work all day. Right. That's and right. then we come up here and we're going to run our mouth. Right. <laughs> and we want to make sure that what we're saying is worth you taking out the time and your busy schedule that we're just not taking up airspace. That's because right. a lot of times you got to understand, like we said before, we the first partaker of what we're going to talk about. That's right. Absolutely. And there have been times in my life where I have been tardy. Mm-hmm. I have been absent, mm -hmm. and the reason why I was absent, it wasn't because I was on a godly assignment. I probably should have been mm -hmm. on a godly assignment, but the assignment that really got my focus and my attention mm -hmm. had nothing to do with God. Yeah, sometimes I've been here and not present. Right. Because your mind so focused on other, other things, things that you don't went through. You might have been like Ike and Tina, just had a blowout in the limo, and now you got to go and check in. <laughs> But when you go check in, you got to do like Tina did. Act like won't nothing going on. It was all on her physical, but she won't let them people know that I just got into it with Ike and that limo. That's right. Exactly. Sometimes you got to do that. That's right. <laughs> so did you say absent said missing? Missing. Missing. Mm-hmm. How many times have your loved one called you, can't get you on the phone? Ooh. Text but you'll answer that text in a minute, though. Now, let me ask you, let me ask y'all this question. I don't question, understand Facebook. that one. Let me ask y'all this question. Because maybe, maybe it's only happening to me. Mm -hmm. Have you ever texted somebody mm. and they answer the text? 
and you get tired of texting, mm -hmm. and you call them on the phone, mm -hmm. and they don't answer the phone. Yes. Have you ever had that? Yeah. What gets me even worse is you know a person that keeps a phone in their hand because mm -hmm. they always on posting because mm -hmm. that little green light comes on, mm -hmm. blue light. It depends on what you got. They always posting a selfie, always posting something. Mm. And then when you call, they won't answer the phone. And you're like, now, I know you got that phone in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much buried right here. Right. And so you... I'd you, rather you just tell me, look, I don't want to be bothered. Right. Exactly. That's what I would say. Look, Absent <laughs> also said lacking. Lacking. Showing a lack of attention. Mm -hmm. To what is happening or being said. Mm, absent minded. So, I'm just going to put the egg on you, but I'm going to pretend like, you know what, Pastor, I hear what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. You're the only one saying Here. amen. Here. That's what you're saying. Here. Sometimes. <laughs> it happens. I put my thing on Do Not Disturb, but go ahead. It, <laughs> it's always something, but it's okay. It's okay. Because um, today, the core of this message is, we don't want you to continue to be absent in your mm -hmm. life. We don't want you to continue to be tardy on the things that God has called you to. Mm -hmm. Because after a while, you know, it's going to be like, okay, she ain't ready. Mm -hmm. He's not ready for this right now. Right. So let me go ahead on to somebody else. Was that you who post something about the thing that we crying about? God will give it to somebody else and mm -hmm. they'll do something with it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. they, they'll do something with yeah the thing that you crying the, about the thing that you crying about God will just go ahead on and give it to somebody else and let them work it and make it do what it do mm -hmm. please don't be one of those individuals and it was more on the, the mindset of the thing that you are crying about somebody else has taken that same situation and used it more more like they took that situation instead of making it a pity party they used it to propel themselves into something else right so how many times have we done that right you know, and, and I have a T-shirt that I just purchased not too long ago, and and the uh, caption on it says "Running late for your pity party." Mm. <laughs> Nobody, I mean, we need to be absent from our pity party. But no, mm. we wanna we wanna have a celebration. Yes, ma'am. We want everybody to know I'm stop. I'm oh, I'm going through. <laughs> Bye, girl. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, but it's like you, we said on this thing. How are you going to answer? Yeah. Whatever fits you. Yeah. If you got to say holla, you got to who, you got to do whatever you, you got to do. Some of us really need to make our, our, um, our presence known. Some of us, I said uh, one segment before, is how can you go in a room and nobody notice that you're in the room and nobody notice when you leave? That you're gone and somebody don't even realize you're gone. They were like, she was here? Didn't even know she Didn't was even know you were there. Absent. You yeah. got to make your presence known that when you come into a room, some, some, sometimes people get on my nerves with this. Oh, I went into an atmosphere and I didn't like the atmosphere. Don't you know you got enough authority in you to shift that atmosphere that when you come in you and study you conforming to the atmosphere, the atmosphere should, conform. should conform to you? Exactly, because of what's on the inside of you now. It's one thing if you got something in you. <laughs> it's, something, yes. it's something totally different if mm -hmm. you don't. Mm -hmm. And that makes all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. It's something of substance or right. substance on the inside of you. Or it is what's on the inside of you just as absent as the atmosphere. Yeah, because I, I don't want to just, wanna just be here. Boy. Not I don't want to do just be here. Not I don't do want to just be present. Not I just want to be participating. Because this is a, this is not, a lot of us have uh look at this thing called life as a spectator sport. Mm -hmm. We don't participate. Right. We sit on the sideline and we let life go on. We let everybody else, life and what's going on with them. We want to sit there and say, well, why this, why that? Why don't you get in and participate in your own life? Stop yeah. being a spectator. Exactly. Because that's what a lot of times people are doing. They are only spectating in their own lives. And then get mad because you participating in life. Want you to sit down. Why I gotta sit down? Won't you stand up? Won't you be quiet? Won't you say something? Won't you say something? <laughs> Why are you always doing something? Why are you always doing nothing? Right, exactly. <laughs> Why don't you do something? Do something. 
Let's let that sit right there for a minute. We know we all got them. We do. It's like, God, can you can you celebrate me once? Mm -mm. We talked about that nonverbal communication mm -mm. where somebody say that they happy for you, but it don't say you happy for me. Mm -mm. And so, you know, when it gets to that point, then you have to understand who you share things with. Yes. Now, there are times where sometimes I'll test the water with people just to see where they're going to be, see how they're going to respond. Yes. If they don't respond the way that I would respond, if they were sharing what I'm sharing with them, mm -hmm. if they were sharing that same news with me, then I know how to deal with that individual mm -hmm. because I'm not about people tolerating me anymore. If, if I celebrate you and you celebrate me in return, then mm -hmm. we, can, we can do something together. But if it's a one-way street, I'm celebrating you and you're tolerating me, uh -uh. that means, like we said before, you are looking at me as a an option and not a priority. Yes. And it's all good it is. because I'm a big girl. I'm present. And I came into this world. <laughs> I was present in this world yes. without you. Mm -hmm. By myself, I came into this world. Mm -hmm. By the blessings of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So are you here? <laughs> Or are you present? <laughs> so, hey, there it is. Are you here or are you present? Are you living or are you functioning? Are you here or present in the lives mm -hmm. of your children? That's another Ooh. question. Yes. Your children, 15 years old, 16, 17 years old, what are you doing to show mm. them that I love you? I am here for you. Mm. Here for you. I'm mm. here with you. Mm. They ain't got a moment to share. I ain't got a story to tell. Mm -mm. Cause you, know, you ain't gave them no time. Mm -mm. You too busy doing what you do mm -hmm. instead of doing what you need to do with your kids. Don't shoot us today. Mm. Don't and not just your us. kids, with your spouse. Yeah, absolutely. With your friends. Mm. With your family. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. That's all I got today. <laughs> I don't have nothing else. Show up here. Show up in your life. Show up in your relationships. Show up. Don't just raise your hand. Jump in. Do something. So, Rhonda, here, present. Karen Bowie, here, present. Jamal Brown, here. Present. She calling y'all names. I'm just out. saying people who names I don't seen pop up. I haven't seen a name pop up today. Here, present. <laughs> Not one. Terrence Lofton, you here, cousin? But I'm here. Present. I am present. Yes. And so it's that's Friday. the roll call because God calling out, out every day that we wake up. And we have breath and life in our body. He has called the role for that day. That's right. How are you going to respond to him waking you up? Are you going to be tardy for your assignment? Are you going to be absent from your day? Are you going to be late for what you have to do with life? Are you just going to be present? Mm. What are you going to do? So many people are so um, tangled up with other individuals making those individuals their God that they mm. can't really... Uh, become syncopated and synchronized wow. with the one and true wise God, mm, mm, you know? Mm. And so that, that is, that's a lot of people's issue today mm. is that they have created little G-O-Ds yeah. and they act like the little G-O-Ds are the individuals who are going to save them like the little G-O-Ds are their redeemers. And so they're finding that mm. the little G-O-Ds are exactly who they are. They are, they mm. are people who mm. will fail you. And when you deal with your little G.O.D.s, you can't be sensitive to when God want to use you. When you're passing people every day and you don't pick up on their spirit, you can't give that person a smile. You can't give that person a compliment. Some people just need a hug. But because you're sitting up there focusing on man, then you're missing all these opportunities to be present in somebody else's life. You are that crossroad that sometimes when... A person just may be walking on the face of the earth and about to walk off of it. But just because they come across your path and they get that smile or they get that word or they get that push of encouragement yeah. to be able to move past whatever else that they're going through. Because people are suffering. Yeah, they are going they are. through. It don't take a lot. Buy somebody lunch. Tell them, hold the door. Just a little small, simple things. It don't take a lot for that. It doesn't. But it makes somebody's day. It does. 
And if that's what's mm. in you, it will come out. Yes. But if you're just existing and not living, we don't expect you to understand yes. what we're saying today on this broadcast. And not until you get to a point where you're saying, you know what, life uh, is, is worth more than this. And mm -hmm. I owe my life yes. more than just to exist on a day-to-day -day basis. Or I owe mm -hmm. more to my life than to continue to be in a depressed state. Yes. Being stuck. Don't want to move. You don't even want to go backwards. You just mm -hmm. want to stay in park. You don't even want to move one foot in front of the other mm -hmm. because of... You feel in the blood. Yes. Life you is more. Yeah. Blood. Life is more than just being here. It's precious. Yes. And it's worth living. Mm-hmm. So, anyway. It's Friday. So, let's talk for real. It's Friday. So, let's talk. Let's talk for real. Let's talk with Shay and Trill. Let's talk. Let's talk for real. Let's talk. Let's talk for real. Booyah. It was quiet, but we love y'all. It was quiet yes. today. I guess they was proving the point that they were going to be absent. <laughs> that they weren't going to be here. That's okay. That we they were weren't going to be present. It's all good. But we showed up. We love you. our assignment is really not contingent on anybody else, right? Mm -hmm. Your assignment is not contingent upon anybody else. It's not predicated upon whatever anybody else does. It's all about what God has called you to do. And as long mm -hmm. as you are faithful, and as long as you continue to be faithful to what he's called you to do, mm -hmm. then you'll get the blessing that he has for you. Love you guys. So we love you. That's what, how I say it. I can't do the heart thing. <laughs> it just don't come down. She's the heart queen on the play. All right. Have a blessed weekend. We love you. Um, spend time with your loved ones this weekend. All right? And Be get present. out of that wind because it's pushing people in the back. Be present. All right. <laughs> Be present. Be present. Yes. Bye-bye. Toodles.